So, we're all going to die. North Korea has said it regards itself at war with America. War. War. Fire and fury. War. War. Serious stuff. War. 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 It is only Monday. <laughs> How did this happen? Well, it all started at the UN last week. Everyone was waiting to hear what Donald Trump would say to the world. The message is really a message of peace. It's a message of coming together. Peace. <laughs> Togetherness. So what did he say? President Trump issued an astonishing threat to North Korea tonight, warning the United States may have no choice but to totally destroy it. Rocket man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. Fuck you, Rocket Man! <laughs> it's the UN! It's not a comedy roast! Hey, Rocket Man, it won't be the first explosion your mum's seen! <laughs> Look! No! No! Look! Look at the reaction of his chief of staff, John Kelly, during the speech. Look at that! <laughs> is a man with a tough job. Can you imagine the chat they had before? OK, you stick to the script. Peace and love. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peace, love, yeah. As soon as he gets out of there. Hey, Kim! I got small hands, oh, yeah. I got small hands. We'll see how small they are when they're in your head! <laughs> So sorry, you dog-eating son of a bitch! I'm on it, John! <laughs> the world needs leadership. We're on the brink of a nuclear war. We need wisdom, not a man-child who can barely understand what nuclear weapons are. This thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. <laughs> Bad things make loud noises. <laughs> so what did Kim Jong-un do? Well, first of all, he went for a walk in an orchard. <laughs> <laughs> then he put on some massive trousers. <laughs> and then he started slamming Trump. Let's talk about North Korea. Their leader has upped the war of words with Donald Trump, calling him a mentally deranged US dotard. <laughs> and the world went, what's a dotard? An old person especially one who has become weak or senile. He's got a point. Trump invented an African country this week. I'm greatly honored to host this lunch, to be joined by the leaders of Cote d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Ghana, Guinea, Nambia. <laughs> Namibia. Nambia. Namibia. Nambia. Namibia. <laughs> Nambia. He is in charge of the free world. Nambia is great. I love Germany. <laughs> I like Sweden. I'm a fan of Sweden. <laughs> I love Winterfell. Great wall. Great wall. <laughs> great. Nambia. Not only was he picking fights with North Korea, he was also picking fights with the NFL. Donald Trump is not backing down in his row with some of America's most famous sportsmen. Now, it all began when some American football players refused to stand during the national anthem in protest at racial injustice and police brutality. A peaceful protest to highlight how black people are treated in America. And what did Trump say? Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag? To say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! So let me get this straight. If a black man protests, he's the son of a bitch. But when white supremacists did it in Charlottesville, that's free speech. He was elected to make America great again. He's brought it to its fucking knees.